This next story may leave you scratching your head a little bit. Here's what's happened. A traveling artist says Oklahoma game wardens took his art. The art is made out of animal skulls, specifically deer, which according to Oklahoma state law is illegal. News Force Caitlin Ogle joins us live with the story. Caitlin. And these were some of his best pieces too. Dean Summers says he's not a hunter and has never killed an animal, but the wildlife department says these laws have been in place for a long time. He's seizing my art, my deer skulls. This is something that I feel should be taken care of with a warning. I'm like, this is my art, what are you doing? Dean Summers' glamorous deer skulls are out of stock. For over a decade, the Seattle man has been taking discarded deer skulls found mostly along the side of the road or in the woods and dressing them up with gems, stones, and crystals. If I find it in the woods and it's uh, cleaned already by nature, um, that's a plus for me. I'm taking something that nobody wants, buying it to swap me maybe for five, ten bucks, then I make it into something beautiful again. I'm doing the opposite of what the poachers do intentionally. Summers says he went to an OKC swap meet like he has before with no issues, but this time a game warden showed up, responding to complaints, giving him a $340 ticket and confiscated his art. If I'm traveling through states, do I have to look up every every rule yeah, on all this stuff? Business, I would look up every little rule to make sure that I understand it. When I call up my wife, she started crying. It was just like getting robbed because I've worked for years to make a name and make this stuff and those are some of my best pieces. Michael Holmes with the Wildlife Department says you can't sell wildlife or wildlife parts in this state and it's to protect animals. Even when they are legally harvested, you can't sell that wildlife um, even, even when it's part of an art project. So kind of bottom line, if there's even a little bit of head attached to the antler, can't sell it. That's correct. I'm willing to uh, just pay the fine and say, hey, I'm sorry, I won't come back and try to sell my art ever in the state again. I mean, I'd do that just to get my art back. And Holmes with the Wildlife Department says antlers can be sold because deer shed those in the spring. And obviously taxidermy is a different story. Now it's up to a judge or a district attorney to decide whether Summers gets his art back. He says he's been trying to find legal help, but they all turn him down and tell him good luck.